Hello, this is Ryan Simmons with Cartoon Solutions. We are just going to do some lip sync animation using the head comp system. Uh, first of all, we have our sound that we've brought in here. And I just want to point out something. When you import your sounds, the default setting in Flash is event. Make sure it's set to stream. If I scrub through, I can hear the sound. If it's, if it's set to event, and I scrub through, I'm not going to hear anything. So we need to hear what we're animating to, so make sure it's set to stream. Okay, so let's listen to the dialogue that we have. A seagull pooped in me eye. Okay, you'll notice that his mouth was moving, but it wasn't synced up. Um, here on the head layer, we have his head, and the default setting for this uh, graphic symbol, it's going to be loop. We don't want it to loop. We want it to be single frame. So set that single frame. Now, what does this mean? Single frame, I've just double clicked and I've went into the graphic symbol that has all of the mouths in it. So when we saw the mouth looping, it was actually going through and going through all of these different keyframes within the head symbol. Okay, so on frame one, we have the closed mouth or MBP. Frame 2, we have A ah or A. Frame 3, we have E eh or E mouth. Frame 4, we have all the consonants. So R, S, uh, D. Uh, here on frame 5, we have O or W. And then frame 6, we have T, H or L. And then frame 7, we have uh, F or V. Okay, And then you'll see here that we've repeated them but that the eye expressions change. And we'll get into that a little bit later. I go back out to scene one here. Click on this. We've got single frame. Okay, so we're going to listen to this. And the first thing he says is a seagull. Okay? A sea. Okay, so if we listen, a. right here is where we hear the A sound. So let's make a keyframe. Hit F6. We're going to click back on his head and we're going to change it to the A mouth, which is frame 2, A. Now I've got these memorized, you probably want to write them down on a piece of paper, have them handy so you know what you're punching in. Now the key with um, doing lip sync animation is you actually want your keyframe not to fall at the same time as you're hearing the sound, but you want to have it a frame before. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to move it over. Okay, It just reads better and it looks like everything's in sync. Okay, So we have A, A, C, so a seagull, so he's going to hit the S. So I'm hearing it right here. I'm going to go back one frame, hit F6, and then I'm going to, let me zoom in on this for you. Okay. I'm going to hit the consonants. The S is, falls under consonants, so that's going to be four. Okay. So he's going to say a C. Okay, so I'm going to do E here. Just listening, that's going to be three. You're going to say a seagull. The G is right there, so I'm going to put it here. Another keyframe, the G. It's going to be the consonants. It's going to be four. G, uh, uh. So I'm hearing a uh, like, and like an A. Make another keyframe here. Put that to two. Seagull. And then he's going to hit that L. Seagull. Okay. So let's put it right about here. Okay, click on it. L is going to be 6. Okay, so let's quickly check it. A seagull pooped in the eye. Okay, let's watch it again. A seagull pooped. Okay, so we're doing good so far. A seagull. Okay, right here, he's, we don't want to hold that L too long, so we'll just, well, let's just do this. Let's put it back to consonants right here, which would be 4. And then right there is where he does the P for pooped. Let's just put it a couple frames before so he really hits it hard. And that's going to be the closed mouth, which is one. And then he's going to do the O. Ooh, there's the O. Okay, so we'll put it a frame before. And that is going to be five. And he's going to go back into the P again. So there's the P sound there. Go back a frame, and that's going to be one again. Pooped. And he kind of makes a another noise right there. So I'm going to set that to con the consonants, which is four. 
Let's just test it really quick, see where we're seagull pooped in the eye. Okay, and so looking at this, I really don't like this one here. I'm just gonna change this one to uh closed mouth. Check it out again. A seagull pooped in the eye. Okay, so we just got in me eye to do. So I hear eh, I'm hearing the ear eh, eh here. So I'm going to put it here right before. It's going to be the uh, three. I'm going to say N. So another keyframe. N is going to be consonants. And me I. So M is going to be uh, the closed one, which is one. In me I. Let's just listen to that. In me I. In me I. So it's really quick. N me. So we got to. Do the E, change that to three. Then he's gonna say I, which is ah uh, ah. Uh. So we're gonna put that to two. I, and then we'll over here we'll just close it with that E sound again, which is three. Let's just check it. In me I. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then we'll just right about here. We'll kind of close his mouth a little bit with consonants and let's check it out. A seagull pooped in the eye. A okay, so it looks good. Now let's take advantage of uh, these different expressions that we have. Okay, so let's just look at them really quick. We have we've just been playing with these ones here. These are the neutral ones. Up here we have the surprised eyes and the angry eyes. Okay. Now we want the clo if we were to use like uh, let's say Frame number two, which is the ah mouth, um, um, we're going to want to go over to go to twenty or sorry twelve right here. It's going to be the same mouth, but his expression is going to be up. And if we were to go over here, twenty-two, it's the same mouth, but the eyes are down. Okay, so how do we take advantage of that? Let's give him a different expression. So it says seagull pooped. Let's put his eye, eye expression up. So right here, uh, let's see, that was, a, we'll just add 10 to that, so it'll be 11. Okay, watch his eyes when I punch these in, you're going to see it change. Okay, so 5 is going to be 15, and 11 is going to be, or 1 is going to be 11, and 4 is going to become 14. Okay, let's just check that really quick. A seagull pooped in the eye. Okay, so now we see it go up, and let's when he says in me I, let's have him be uh, mad. So we'll just take that and we'll add uh, 20 to that. So it'll be 23. Watch his eyes change as I punch these in again. So we're gonna be 24. Okay, and I'll just go through and do these 21 and 23. The great thing is we've already lip synced this. We're not having. We're just going to go through and just change the expression. We already know where the keyframes need to be, so it saves us time. Okay, 24. Okay, let's watch it really quick. A seagull pooped in the eye. A seagull pooped in the eye. Okay, so there you have it. That is how we animate. We can um, take advantage of the different. Uh, expressions in the head symbol using the comp system method and all the character packs have all three of these expressions. We've got the neutral, the surprised, and we've got the angry. I hope that's helpful to you and I hope it makes you uh, faster at doing the tedious job of lip sync.